Hi everybody, so what I wanna do is give you a little overview of how to connect all of the various pieces of this system together. So I'll show you, I have our Vietduino, I have a little breadboard, I have a power supply for the Vietduino. I also am going to be using two of these VEX motor controllers to run the robot. So there's one, there's two, and I've thrown together a little prototype bot uh, that we'll be able to plug into the VEX motor controllers in a moment. Uh, just to test to make sure that everything is working. Let's start by looking at the VEX motor controller to get an idea of what it has. So on one side you can see it has the standard three pin connector. The black is going to be for ground, the orange is going to be for the positive voltage of that motor, and the white is going to be the signal pin. On the other side of the VEX motor controller is uh, just two wires. And these two wires, one is red, one is black, are just going to plug into the motor itself. So we can take these, plug them together, and there we uh, have plugged it in, and we're done. Um, we're not done, definitely not done. So that's what's on the VEX motor controller. Now our Arduino uh, has a bunch of inputs as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this barrel connector and a nine volt battery to power the Vietduino. So if I plug it in, you can see we get a couple little lights here. Um, and so this is now powering the Arduino, the Vietduino. So this is ready to go. Uh, if I had a program on here, it would be running um, just as all the sample programs that we've uh, tried to use before. All right, so let's now power up. Uh, let's, let's go through a process. We want to try to hook up the VEX motor controller here to the V-in of the Arduino. We want to power this motor controller with the full nine volts of our battery. So I'm gonna connect the orange wire here to the V-in of the Arduino. That is this pin that is all the way over to the right here. And I'm gonna connect the black wire, which is the ground, to the ground, the Arduino, and that's gonna power up the motor controller. Uh, so let's do that. I'm going to use the rails of this breadboard in order to do that. So um, I'm gonna use the fact that all of these are connected together. I'm gonna to make that my positive voltage of the battery, and I'm gonna use the blue. And so the, I'm gonna use the blue rail for the ground. Uh, so, Blue rail to ground, I'm gonna use the black jumper wire here, plug that into the blue, Let's move that over to that side, and I'm gonna plug that into the ground of the Arduino. That's this second pin there, you can see that, okay. And then the red, I'm going to plug into the V in right there, which is that, uh, that port all the way to the right. So what that means is that when I plug in this here, this is now sending uh, nine volts onto this entire rail and it's connecting the ground to everything here. So what this means now is if I take any, any other wire and I plug it somewhere else on this blue rail like this, so I'm gonna plug in a black wire down there and a red wire down here um, in two different locations, and here's my voltmeter. Um, and I'm going to measure the voltage across these two, uh, these two pins. But the wrong jumper there, that's okay. So if I measure this, you can see that I get 8.47 across that, which means that everything is working correctly. And so that's, that's the point behind doing this. I wanna make it so that uh, I'm, it's very easy to connect things to the positive supply of the battery. So the next step is to actually plug in the VEX motor controllers. Um, so I'm going to do, do this this way. I'm gonna use these three pins down here to connect the signal, the voltage, and the ground. Um, and then I'm gonna use these uh, three pins at the other end, um, sort of in the same way, to connect uh, to the signal, voltage, and ground. So you can see I've, I've connected both of these this way. And I now need to power those up. So I'm going to take a, a wire from the red 
rail of the breadboard, and I'm gonna connect it to this pin, which is the positive voltage rail of the motor controller. And I'll do the same thing for the ground, just like, so there's that, and there is that. And now this is powered up. Nothing's happening because I'm not sending it a signal uh, to do anything. We can do that for the other motor as well. So again, I'm gonna go from the red rail there to the red, or the orange input pin of the motor controller. You can see that there. And then I'm going to go from the ground rail here to the ground pin of the motor controller. And you can see very quickly, things are starting to look very complicated, which is, is why it's always good to stay as organized as you can when you start piecing these, uh, piecing these together. Now the last thing that I need to do to make it so that I can control these two motor controllers, which are now powered up, um, and while I'm connecting things, let me disconnect this for a moment, uh, is I want to send signals to the white wire of this motor controller and the white motor of this, uh, the white wire of this motor controller. So I'm gonna just arbitrarily say that I'm gonna take this motor controller that's on the left here, and I'm gonna connect that one up to input four. And I'm gonna take the white signal of this motor controller and I'm going to connect it up to pin number two. And so when I go to program this, I'm gonna know that these, uh, the, the motor on this side is connected to pin four, and the motor on this side is connected to pin two. Now this is one of those situations where you want to just record this information somewhere so that when you do your programming, it's all in one place. You don't have to really search for it. All right, let's take a look now at the programming and see if we can make this work. So we're looking now at the Arduino software, and this is the program that I put together to run this specific robot that I built here. You'll notice that I have defined a left motor pin, and I've made that four, because that's how I hooked it up on the Arduino. I have made a right motor pin, and I've connected that to port two. Um, in the program, I've made that pin to because that's where I connected it on the Arduino. And then I've defined two uh, servos, left motor and right motor. Now, this might be a little confusing because I'm writing servo and then left motor, but the reason for this is I'm using a library called uh, the servo library in the Arduino, and it sends out a command that normally you can use to just run a regular servo. Uh, I'm using it though because the VEX motor controller takes a servo command and turns that into uh, power for the motor to work. So that's why I've done that here. And I've made one for the left motor and another one for the right motor. Uh, I have defined the pin modes for both the left motor pin and the right motor pin, which I've defined up here to be outputs because I am putting out a signal to those motor controllers. And the next thing that I have to do is attach those pins within the program uh, to the left motor and right motor, um, which I have defined up here. So this up here is the motor pin. This is where I'm just telling it pin two, pin four. And these are the left motor and right motor variables in the program. And this is the line where I'm actually just saying to send a command to the left motor, you need to send a command to the left motor pin, which is number four. And same thing for the right motor there. Uh, this loop goes forever, and all I'm saying is uh, to put out a left motor control command for 100, same thing for the right. So I'm saying put full, pull, uh, full power forward to each wheel. Um, now these uh, commands I have defined down here. I made a copy of uh, one of the programs that I made earlier as an example. And so you can just see this is converting the number from negative 100 to 100, which is an easy way to sort of uh, conceptualize the range of what I could output to the motor, 
to be a number between 1,000 and 2,000, which is what a servo command sends out to the motor. Um, don't have to worry too much about that, but this is just making it so that instead of having to come up with a number between 1,000 and 2,000, this map command just sort of takes an input value and uh, interpolates that value so that it is between negative 100 and 100. Anyway, so all I am doing is I am uh, sending a full forward command to the left and right motors. I am digital right, using digital right to pin 13, which is the LED on the Arduino. I am waiting one second or a thousand milliseconds. And then after that, I'm going to send both motors a backwards command. Uh, so that makes it so that both motors will then go backwards and then I turn off that LED and I wait for a thousand milliseconds. All right, let's upload this to the Arduino and see what happens. So the program has been uploaded. Um, I have my little robot over here. Um, it's probably a good idea just so that it doesn't run all over the place. I'm going to take a little wooden block and put it underneath so those, those uh, wheels are off the ground. Okay, so you can sort of see that there. Um, and now I'm going to attach the battery like so and see what happens. There we have it. And you can see something's wrong. Uh, you might be able to hear that. You have some chattering in the motors, so something's not, not totally working. So let's see what happens. Let's see how we might be able to figure out what's, what's not working. So I'm going to unplug these motors, and I'm gonna use my voltmeter to just check and see if I am getting the behavior that I want. So I'm gonna take uh, one of the motor controllers here, and turn on my voltmeter, put it on like that, and I'm going to take the black pin um, and measure it with the black lead of my voltmeter. I'm going to attach the red wire there. So if you look there, you can actually see that the numbers are going from negative 7.8 to positive 7.8 about every second. So this tells us that the program and the motor controller is actually working the right way. It is doing what, is, what, what we programmed it to do, which was just to sort of switch those motors back and forth. Uh, let me connect that right back up. There we go. So we can sort of see it going back and forth. Um, and we can hook that back into the motor. Okay, let's check the other one as well. Uh, other motor controller is here. Um, so I will put the negative pin there, positive pin there. And we can again see that it is doing the right thing, switching between the, the negative voltage and the positive voltage. So that is what it should be sending out to the motor. But sure enough, when we plug that in, it's not actually working. Um, so my sense is that this means the battery might not be strong enough to be running both the Arduino and these motors together. So, Let's put on a beefier battery, and I have one ready to go. That's this battery right here. So this is this is a beefy battery. Okay, this is uh, this this battery right here has a lot of voltage. You do not want these two things to touch. I don't know if you can see. If I do that, you get a little teeny spark. That's bad. That's called shorting out uh, the battery, and that's an easy way um, to melt things. You don't want to do that, definitely. Um, so I'm going to take the, the, the black wire and I'm going to hook it up to this here. Now I'm going to take the black wire, hook it up to this connector, like so. I'm going to take the red wire, which is over here, and I'm going to hook this up um, to the other connector here. So I'm going to hook that up like, like that. You see now, that robot is definitely doing what it is supposed to be doing. Although, you might be able to see that it's actually running the motors in the wrong direction. This is going forward, but this is going backwards. So they're going in opposite directions. The easy way to fix that, I'll show you real quick, that is loud. So, let me just 
turn that off for a second. The easy way to fix that is just to change the polarity of one of these motor controllers. You can see this is going black to black. Let's just turn that around like so. So now if we power that back up. The motors are going in the exact same direction. So what I've done now is I've kind of crammed all the wires and the Arduino and, and started putting things into this box just so that we can possibly see this thing move around um, now that we know the, the wiring is right. I actually changed a little bit of the positioning so that it, was, uh, it would all fit just right. Um, I've also hooked up um, a slightly different battery just so that it doesn't move quite as fast as it was with that other battery. The other thing that I'm going to do, because we want to make sure that these don't short out, I'm going to use some uh, electrical tape, this is electrical tape here, to uh, insulate each of those places where I have the, the clips. So I'm going to take this and wrap it right around here so that that isn't going anywhere and it doesn't accidentally contact anything else. So I'll do that, there's that one. And I'll do the same thing for the yellow alligator clip. Um, one thing you wanna do, you do wanna make sure when you're using these alligator clips is check that the alligator clips themselves are conducting correctly because when I had this hooked up even a little bit earlier today, uh, one of these, the wire inside was broken. So it wasn't uh, actually connecting when, and that was the reason it wasn't working. So I'll hook those up. Those are insulated from each other. I can kind of tuck that right in there, close that together. So the, the only thing that is out now is this connector. Um, I'm going to connect, as I did before, the black wire of uh, the overall connection to this connector right here and the red wire here. And you can see that it is running as expected. Uh, so let's put this on the ground and see how it, see what it does. And as you can see now, this thing is moving around on the ground. Now that is full power forward and backward. You can sort of see uh, what that looks like. So that is it. We have made a full motor controller uh, using the Arduino, the VEX motor controllers. Um, and hopefully this will help you as you try to build your own robot. See you next time.